being an autistic person in the workplace is like if you got assigned to a pirate ship to work and it's a super leaky pirate ship the first thing that they have you do is go down into the bottom of the ship and start bailing out water and everybody who starts on the ship has to, to bail water out for like at least two to five years like that's the first thing you do when you get to the pirate ship and so uh, you go down there and you start your job and you notice there's a lot of holes down there and that's why there's so much water that's why it's leaky uh, and so you turn to the person next to you and you say, hey, has anybody ever thought of patching up these holes and, and like fixing the holes so that way we don't always have to bail water out from down here? And the person next to you looks at you like you're crazy and they go, this, this is just the way we've always done things here. You should really just grab a bucket and, and help everybody out and stop trying to circumvent the system to get a, to get a promotion. And you go, okay, well, that's not what I was trying to do, but um, all right. And you just go along. Um, but you know that uh, you know how to use the sextant. You can navigate star charts and you know a lot of really specific knots that not a whole lot of people know that you think would be super useful up in the rigging. Um, so you go to the first mate and you tell him all of this and you uh, let him know that, you know, it probably would be more beneficial to patch the holes uh, so that way everybody down there bailing out water can do another role that's more beneficial to the ship. And the first mate goes, look, I asked you to do a very simple, specific task. If you can't do that one task, then I'm going to have you walk the plank for insubordination. So you don't ask any questions anymore. And uh, what you do is you use your own time when you should be sleeping or something else to start patching up the holes in the bottom of the ship because it's agonizing to do pointless work for your brain. So once you start doing that, eventually uh, the bottom of the ship dries up. Nobody has to bail out water anymore. So the first mate comes out and says, yay, thanks to all of our hard work and working together, there's no water in the bottom of the ship anymore, so we're going to have a party. Uh, except at this point, you don't get invited to the party because everybody thinks you're weird. You ask too many questions. You can't speak the, the nautical language that well. Um, and you asked to do too many other things and you've been difficult and insubordinate. So you don't get to go to the party for uh, bailing out all of the water and making that successful and you don't get any credit for what you've done. And also everybody still doesn't like you, including the management. And that is why only 15% of autistic people work. They're just severely misunderstood.